My mind was full of nagging thoughts. I had doubts, I had fear, I had depression. I had such low self-worth. I, I, I had no feelings of um, being loved or being wanted. So when the first opportunity presented itself for me to escape, I took it. And for the next 15 years, I literally chased that freedom through drugs and alcohol. The way I survived was by breaking the law, schemes, stealing. I did whatever I had to do, which ultimately landed me behind bars. One evening when I was incarcerated, the CEO on duty called me out for a little talk. I can remember it like it was yesterday. This woman was just beautiful. She was uh, African-American. She had her hair pulled back in a bun. She had bright red lipstick and red fingernails. And she looked at me and she said, Lisa, what are you doing here? And of course, I started to recite my charges. And she said, no, baby, I'm not asking you what you did. I'm asking you, what are you doing here? And she looked at me and she said, you have way too much to offer. You have too much potential to be behind bars. And I can tell you, I walked into that jail feeling like discarded trash, but I walked out feeling like possibly I could change my life. 23 years ago, I came to the end of the road with drugs and alcohol. I hit my bottom. And with the help of 12 Step and my faith, I started to realize that I had this passion to help others. I, 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 I had to give it away to keep it. And a lot of people ask me, what is it? Well, it is life, it's purpose, it's drive. And what I've learned through the years is if you keep that for yourself, it, it dies. So in order to keep it alive, you've gotta be able to give that thing away. Over the past two years, I visited 17 prisons twice in the state of Virginia. From my experience of uh, directing and operating New Vision and from my own personal experience, I created a seminar called Overcoming the Adversity of Reentry. And the seminar is being so well received by inmates across the state. Some of their comments are, Miss Lisa's real. Miss Lisa has been where I have been. And I can't tell you what it's like to be able to go in and to give back what was so freely given to me. It's awesome to know that I actually can set a life in motion in a powerful way, in a direction that's gonna help them change.